Welcome back, wise ones. Coming at you today with episode 51. That is right, 51 of the Iceni campaign, and we are there. We are ready to recreate that ancient British Empire. We are almost there. We just have these last provinces to take care of on our. I'll switch over the views on our mini map really quick. Look at this, Bactria, Traxonia. We have armies in place. Pekia, when she reheals after that heroic defense, will just move up into Traxonia. We have, uh, we also have a Toast, or I believe this is, this might be Kanini replenishing as well, and she'll move in. So we're probably one or two turns away from a big push. We have a little, we created a little force here to get rid of the Saba, if you remember that from last. And then Bua should be there. We are in place. Atosa is ready to take whatever settlement this one, Merv, I believe, and then this is Nisa, so we are ready to go. All the while, didn't even notice that the Kush had taken over some of these Pontic territories here. Love to see that from our from our kind of friends, if you will, friends, question mark. But other than that, we probably only have, I mean, we could maybe use this army, Anasonia, to capture a couple of these last settlements, open up another front against the cold cheese boys, but that would kind of be the icing on the cake to exterminate, well, not exterminate, we, I don't want to get rid of the Bactrians, I could care less about exterminating the Bactrians, it's more about just getting through their territories, because they hold some provinces that we want, if we want to, uh, I'll probably do an epilogue, keep this in mind if you're listening to this, I will do an epilogue episode. If you want us to destroy, completely extinct the Colchis, that'll be the main mission. If you want us to completely extinct another faction, that'll be the main mission as well. One thing that we can't do is, like, we can't go to war with the Nervi. We can't go to war with the Marseille boys because it would just take too long. It just wouldn't be good content. Let's flip through our settlements here, though. Let's, let's focus, as much as this is all pie in the sky, let's focus a little bit more on some concrete buildings and whatnot in the empire we want to make sure that this is something we leave behind for a long time let's go with the rosemerta the mineral springs increase our economy um what else do we want here the warrior's lodge is usually what we go for and i'm spending money like crazy i do need to still make sure politically we are set up pura let's do that let's get this going in stables uh we got to convert this in parda which is fine easy clap for us there uh, I am going to wait just as I continue to click through, just in case there's any level one settlements, which there shouldn't be at this point, or if there's any, uh, province expansions that we could do. We have been kind of neglecting those, uh, again. Oh, here we go. Level one in Rome. What do we want to put in Rome? Let's put a chieftain hold, in, uh, chieftains hold in Rome. Kind of a fun little thing for us to do and to tell you the truth i should i really should put this uh bronze furnace here so that if we wanted to go to war with the marseille boys or someone we could but i don't want to so we won't uh look at this great public order from our political rivals at the moment uh, i'm not going to rest on our laurel laurels with that i'm going to cont oh i can't even send these guys on diplomatic missions do i not have the money oh they're on a mission currently cool uh let me double check our armies here. Our, our, uh, oh, here we go. Okay, we need to use this army. I think we moved them this turn because I was talking about la the end of last episode. We kind of, yeah, the end of last episode. We, and I'm tempted to bring this because the Kate are done, done. So I'm gonna bring this spy over. Uh, let's get this person. Uh, let's get. Brigios over as fast as possible. We found one of their settlements here. Might as well get eyes on their last one over there as well. Uh, let's make sure these guys are all in their stances. Uh, there we go. That should help our relationship with the Nervi. Okay, so what was, what was the point I was getting at? Kind of completely forgot. Oh, the... Uh, end of last episode, I kind of laid out a couple of areas that we wanted to... Uh, capture and what this last episode was going to look like. So that's why that army is moving in. Interesting, interesting. I, um, yeah, again, the Nervi are, are quite a powerful peoples. Don't want to, kind of don't want to piss them off. Uh, we, I'm going to get rid of this. I should have disbanded this Persian cav a while back. Just kind of a waste of upkeep there. Uh, so I know you guys in the chats are in the chat are always gonna have me. We're gonna definitely keep the Persian calf here because we're we're moving along. Uh, I wonder if there's any other mercenaries we can maybe consider. No, there's some 
it would be good. I want to get some Indian elephants. Is this a Tosa? I would. She has earned some elephants. Who else has earned some elephants? Uh, definitely, definitely our girl, Pekia, but she needs a couple of turns just, just to get herself right here. Uh, and then we have same thing down here. These companions, Jay Dirty, shout out Jay Dirty, that comment about uh, <laughs> traveling all the way from southern Italy to, to the mountains of the Kush just to not be used. Uh, how many turns we got here? Two turns for these guys. So we'll pro I'm going to end a turn here. Honestly, let's end the turn because it looks like we're going to have to end a couple of turns just in general to make sure everything is moving smoothly. Peace Treaty from the Bactrians. Again, Bactria, I, I, I'm I, sorry. This isn't a... It's not personal. It's just business. This one is just business. Okay, we're getting a little sabotage. We, could, we should be able to strike at Merv next turn and Nisa, which will be good. Put some pressure on the Bactrians there. Uh, again, I really want to make sure that Pekia and Kanini have their armies in the tip-top shape to deliver the final blows to these, uh, to these Hellenistic boys. Bactria is such an interesting faction. I, uh, I really, you know, they have that nice mix of Hellenic and Eastern, so a very uh, intriguing... Uh, very intriguing let's play if any of you guys want to do one in the future I think I'm trying to think there's been some good okay that army just skipped on right by did they not see that we maybe have an army there so let's try to deal with that uh, as long as the yeah the Pontic peoples don't declare war on us or else we'll make your life absolutely miserable uh, yeah the Pon it's funny that the Pontic uh, factions took some land off of the uh Took some land off of Marseille boys, but then our game wouldn't be the final episode without a yawn. And again, this is so crazy because I record these videos at a time of day when I should not be yawning. Uh, what was I saying? Circling back. The Pontic boys. No, I want to destroy you. It's personal with the Colchis. Took a lot of territory off the Marseille boys, but then I are losing them to people like the Kush. It's like, come on, come on, AI. Get your stuff together. And this episode is flying. How is it already seven minutes into this? Oh, my loots. Yes, agent apocalypse galore. So many agents, such little time. Yes, we are going to attack that army. And yes, we are going to destroy them. Stop fighting the inevitable. Oh, no, the Colchis are... The Colchis... The Colchis boys are in position to take that settlement of mine. I might raise like a little... Maybe I'll raise a little flash force in Olbia. I do not want them to have a province there. Not a province, but a settlement. <laughs> Gives me something to do with Anasonia. I wonder if she's got upgraded enough. I wonder if she's upgraded enough for us to be able to march her, force march her there. And I'm looking at it, and it, it's not the end. I think it could happen. Okay, we just got trespassed by the Apuli, but I think that that's because they were destroying that slave army. Rhodes needs to chill. Rhodes needs to chill out. Your diplomat was wounded. Oh, that's not good. Uh, famous bard. You'd love to see that. Okay, we got an, a unit disbanded. Did a couple of units disbanded? That's pretty crazy. I uh, don't know what I think about that. Okay, one of our skirmishers, which is fine. I'll just. Oh, I thought I could get some archers, but regardless, that's a little annoying. Did they bribe one of my heroic nobles? If they got one of my heroic nobles, I'm gonna be livid. Come on, it's because it's like, come on. That is, that, I think they might have. I, I genuinely think they might have gotten one of my heroic nobles. But the march has begun. The march has begun to take on these last settlements. Uh, let's get this person off of... Ah, dang it. We have to shadow. We kind of have to shadow this army. Which isn't that big of an army. If we force march... Yeah, we'll go into Susia. Uh, just to, to defend a littler settlement. They can attack the... I'm okay with them attacking the walls of... Uh, uh, they'll get... They, we have a decent amount of troops there. I mean, I don't think... Will we win? Probably not. But it will help us out a little bit. It'll, or it'll cause the enemy to be bunk, hunkered down a little longer than I think they'd like to be. 
Okay, we have our shrine, so we'll just go with a good old-fashioned food and... Uh, although there, is, there are a lot of enemy agents, I maybe should build even more mineral springs. Oh, no, I think that's... The, I don't know if they have that. I don't know if that's a building tree that is open to us. Okay. Let's see, down here, our homie's just chilling. Let's take them out of any stances. And if anything, put them into fortify. Let's see, can we recruit anything good? Yeah, we can get the elephants. I, I, more elephants is never an issue. Let's let's grab more elephants. Although, no, I should have I should have recruited the elephants for uh, Pekia. Damn, that's on me. That's on me. But let's get this into a uh, fortified stance. Yeah, that is on me. Oh no, we probably. I guess those are. I guess these are two different, uh, two different provinces. Yeah, let's go ahead and put our forces here, just to kind of. Yeah, well, good. Good to see that. Okay, the Bactrians are building up quite a sizable army. So let's fortify here, just to, again to help out with the replenishment. Couple more turns. Oh, wow, I don't like that, actually. I don't like that that's taking that long. If we go back into the city, does that help us? Two, four, four. It helped us a little bit, it looks like. Okay, cool. All right, we've slowly but surely made a little progress over here. Nisa, do I have a good barracks here? I do, actually. Let's recruit a couple. Let's recruit another chosen sword. Uh, we have two chariots. Honestly, I'm disbanding these guys. Uh, might as well just get more. Another slinger makes it four. And Persian Cav, Heroic, kind of that balance is there. It w I would prefer Heroic Noble, but let's grab another ch Let's grab another Chosen Sword. And I'm trying to think what we're going to come up against here. Honestly, might as well just grab another Chosen Sword. Whoa, we can recruit like a lot more units in this army? Okay. <laughs> Never going to scoff at grabbing another unit of of chariots. So let's do that. Let's get up this way. That's right. I think I forgot last turn to continue to recruit here. Let's grab a couple chariots here, couple chosen spears, round out the skirmishers, and then fill out. Okay, no, that's it. And round out the skirmishers, and then hopefully we can grab some more men when we can. Let's continue, or not continue. Let's sabotage this army. Really just make them crap their pants. Can we attack them, or are we going to get... We're going to draw a lot of people into battle here. Uh, I'm tempted to fight this because I realistically I think we could win. It's just they have so much cav that we will retreat a little bit. Uh, I want to take... You know what? I'm going to recruit a spear ban because just to have... Just to round out that spear contingent, protect the skirmishers that we have here. Uh, we're protected trapezos. Uh, we'll just go with the food. Let's get the mineral spring, and let's just get upgrade that. Uh, what is this? Is a fleet? What's our garrison look like in trapezos? I'm tempted to walk. I, I want to get to Pharsis, so I'm gonna I'm gonna move those guys. Let's do what we need to do up here. Make sure Anasonia can force march. And she cannot get to Olbia because they're block because our allies are blocking the strait. Oh, come on, guys. Okay, so we might lose Olbia. Maybe. I mean that that's not a foregone conclusion. Let's build the lore maker's hut here just in case we want to be able to build. Oh man, we running low on running low on funds. Um Okay, let's make sure we're not missing. I'm not missing out. Yeah, no, I'm not missing out on anything here. Nemo is doing his thing. Brigos is doing his thing as well. We're really close to tightening a lot of screws on the uh, on the cold cheese boys, especially because we're going to have to have another army soon enough that we'll be able to move up and around and attack a Kabbalah. So let's go ahead and. And this turn, these guys are raiding. I'm not really worried about them. I don't know how much longer those guys are even going to survive. We're supposed to lose that? 
Okay, well, we will not fight that then. Okay, end turn. Could have, should have probably checked on the political stuff. Uh, not going to lie. Should have checked on the political stuff. But we didn't, and it's okay. That's us. End in the turn, waiting for... Yeah, it's fun at this point of the campaign just to see how much of the world is at war. I mean, everybody's at war. There's some good alliances. <sighs> Dang it, the Galatians declared war on us. I wonder if I could pay them off. I, uh, yeah, that sucks. That really sucks for us. Realistically, could we end their lives pretty easily? Yeah, absolutely. But, oh, my loots. Actually, the Bactrians are luring one of my armies further away here. We might be able to uh, conjure a little something. We have a natural border with them. No, I don't care. I'm going to absolutely destroy a couple of Galatian settlements. Uh, maybe I'll just sack them. Here we go. Yes, good. This is what I'd like to see here. Okay, decent amount of Carly Axemen. Uh, yeah, they have a lot of Axemen. Decent amount of Hoplites. I do not like the... I do not like the Heavy Onager. But at the same time, I like my troops here. I really like the composition of the army we have. Light Forest, let's fight this. I mean, honestly, got to give you guys some battles anyways this episode. Rather than just completely steamrolling everybody. Okay, and again, I want to make sure that we deploy somewhere in the open so that we could see. Last time we fought the Colchis boys, it was difficult to see. Okay, cool. And there's some topography. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. This right here is gorgeous for us. Um, I like this uphill, you know, control of both sides. We can hide some people behind. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I like this a lot. Okay. Okay, let's move. Let's have our guard, our heroic riders here. Let's see what, yeah, okay, we just have Inspire on Tessie. I forgot about that. How do we want to deploy? I'm going to kind of deploy my four, my center here. With actually one of these guys on the wing, now that I think about it. Uh... Spears on either side. Yep, spear and spear band. Yeah, let's actually, let's just read, move here. Heroic nobles will be slightly behind them. Slingers up on the hill. Okay, let's start battle. Now I can actually deploy where I want. So let's go ahead, deploy this way. I might deploy a little further down. Yeah, let's... let's actually, yeah, let's move these guys down the hill even a little bit further. Drop these four guys out just a tad bit more. Um, yeah. Definitely going to want my spears to be in a little bit more oblong situation. Uh, let's move the chariots behind. And yeah, let's move. All right, this will be battle, the, little, the Battle of Little Big Rock is what we're going to be calling this one. Looking at the topography here a little bit, this is interesting. I didn't notice this. I got a double. There's that little. There's that little hill there, which is fine. And then, yes, I know you guys are going to be in the chat screaming, "Yo, you're giving them a little bit of cover. This is going to help them reduce the military, like the the volley fire of their, of whatever. You know, like this is going to help reduce the effectiveness of my slingers. Uh, I don't know. I, I'd rather be able to see the game. The engagement is going to be happening here. So I'd rather be able to run my cav and uh, and forces around. Honestly, let's move. 
let's make sh let's move back over here with a unit of chariots. Yeah, we need these guys to get to the line ASAP, actually. All right, my horsies are a little bit of a mess right now. So I, I don't want, I, I want to fix this because otherwise that's not going to be good for us. I'll put a, a unit here to help defend her and then I'll have another unit be over here just in case. Uh, because the AI have been really, the AI have gotten really good lately at, the AI have gotten really good lately at trying to sneak through. And let's actually put all of my people on guard mode that can so that they shoot so because my whole thing is i want them to be able to i want them to get their javelins off even if i'm not paying attention okay they're moving up i, I think they're they're probably linking up with both armies so this is going to be a really big engagement i'm gonna i am gonna need to make sure that we have i know we're hill camping a little bit here but honestly the ai would be doing the same thing So let's have one group here and another here. They're going to kind of be my, they're going to try to be my beautiful boys. I don't have these guys on skirmish. I want to, I want them to kind of hang in there. Tell you the truth. I'll probably have these, I'm going to put these guys in shield wall just to defend against missiles. Uh, that is one of the kryptonites I have. Just what is going on? No, no, shield wall facing this way, chiefs. What the f what the hell are you doing? All right, let's fast forward this. Come on, AI. Get to where you need to go. And this also will hopefully help diminish the effectiveness of their onagers, wherever the hell those even were to begin with. Okay, here we go. We got some noble blood calf coming in. I really, I, I want to make sure I try to preserve my calf as best as possible. They have some horse archers. Going to make sure my, going to keep my slingers busy. M mounted horse archers. Are they armored horse archers? Yeah. Okay. Again, those guys are going to absolutely be keeping my. Let's uh. Let's move these guys a little bit over. They're going to keep my slingers busy. Okay, now we are in uh, we are in position to get this party started, if I do say so myself. Okay, we're going to go with a quick little readjustment here. Just a slight little readjustment of my skirmishers here. Let's put my general up, up on the top of the hill. And let's keep... Because here come the noble, here come some... Okay, they kind of... I mean, they got exposed a little bit here. Let's actually get, let's get involved. Let's get our units involved here. Yep, yeah, let's make sure we are targeting the horse archers. Okay, they're getting some, they're getting, looks like they're trying to get around my flank here, which is good for them. And not going to lie, we need to get, because my... My heroic cav is going to be getting... My heroic nobles. Let's actually try to get these guys out of this fight. And let's bring another chosen spear ban over. Because it looks like they're really hard overloading this flank with, with spears. And we're going to need to move... We're going to need to move my slingers over a little bit here. While we wait. Just because we've opened up. I, I, I'm, I like this engagement a lot that we have. No, 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 stay. Yeah, yeah, see. Look, because look, they're trying, yeah. They are trying, they are trying so desperately to get to my skirmishers. That's just what the AI has programmed here. Okay, we've routed one. Let's get. Okay, see, this is where. All right. All 
Okay, so now they are getting, now we're in position where the AI is getting some, now they're trying to get some troops involved here. Okay, we need, we need to make sure, we might need to have Pekia fill in some gaps here. Our spears out this way. Are these chariots here? Okay. Now we'll put our chariots back. Don't want to get too far out here, but... Let's get the chariots... Let's get the chariots moving around a little bit here. Yes, doing some serious work there. Doing some seriously good work. Let's move our spears back. Move over. Okay, let's look at what we what we're looking at now of our Okay. Where is my general here? Let's get her Okay, no 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 no. Come on. Why is she over here? Why did you have her do this? Let's get her out of that fight immediately. We need we need her out of that fight yesterday. Especially since we have these stupid little units. Kill this Apeus Lancer. get this let's get this mobile let's get that cab off the field all right i want to get my chariots around the flanks here so that we could start getting into the back line with them they're going to do some serious work against the I, I envision them doing some serious work against the enemy skirmishers here ah uh, we're losing oh shoot what do we lose is a chosen spear that's not good yeah, okay. We need, we need to get our guys back involved in here. That's not good. Let's get these guys in through their... What do I have? I, have the, I also have a... Let's get... Come on, chariots. What do we have here? Colchian Noble, which is not good for us. Okay, where is this? I need these guys. Come on, get through, get through. We need the slingers down on the horse archers. Keep these guys moving through the enemies here. Yeah, just keep these guys moving. What is in our... Okay, Cartley Axemen are here. Let's get these guys destroyed. No, 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 no. I need to re I need to redo this. Okay, there we go. Okay, computer's uh, freaking out just a tad bit. But yeah, man, again, who would have thought this many battles against the the Colchis boys? I uh, I think we have a pretty good shot here now. I mean, we got to get I'm going to get my chariots over Where are these heroic riders? Okay, these heroic riders are the ones over here. Where are these heroic riders? Let's get these guys out of this fight.
Yeah. Let's get these guys. Let's get our chariots back into the action here. Okay, if this is how these guys are going to play this one, let's get these. Let's get these guys in with a big charge here. Alright, all my skirmishers now kind of need to... Yeah, there we go. We got we got the major part of these the Colchis boys breaking... Bloody battle for sure, but I mean, this really cripples them, and especially since we have that other army right in the pipeline. Sling these guys to death, and then I want them to get ready because we are going to sling their general to death too. All right, let's move these guys through. Let's have these heroic, or actually no, no, get those heroic riders to stay on that. Have them just absolutely get mauled, hopefully by my chariots here. No, I want these guys out. Okay, let's get out of this. Okay, they really... Thought they were going to break. They didn't. So let's not waste any more chariots. Yeah, let's not waste any more chariots. Knew that shit was going to happen. Yeah, no reason not just to shoot them to death. Yeah, definitely get them sorted and then let's Let's actually go kill that Greek heavy onager too. Yeah, let's kill this enemy general. There they go. A little yo -yo YOLO charge with six of our finest heroic riders. Yeah, that was a good battle there. We took a severe beating, uh, given their Cartley Axemen are pretty solid. Okay. Let's, uh, let's just make sure we vanquish them. And that'll be that. Okay, quit. Good stuff. Costly victory, but I mean, when we can kill 2,200 cold cheese boys, I think we take that every day of the week. Uh, very, yeah, again, the noble cav is really tough to deal with as long, along with the micromanaging of making sure that you are getting the charges off with your infantry, making sure I, I've, I've been hyper focused on destroying the enemy cav, which pays dividends for us. It causes us to win. I mean, you know, it allows me to win, but it, it doesn't allow me to maybe to win the most efficiently as you see here decent kills on these chosen swords and my sword units but i let them kind of get charged uh, that's one of those things we need to get when i'm playing with pikes uh, and as you can tell i'm i'm someone that plays a lot more with hellenic factions because you're like okay hey we could just let them die on their pike faces whereas no i need to actually make sure i get these boys their charge bonuses so that's been that's why it's been fun to kind of play here I wonder if, again, I seriously, I wonder if there's an auto-resolve that gives me a victory. <sighs> Damn it, there's not. But I think that that means we can trap their fleet, which is huge for us. Trap their fleet, hopefully vanquish it. Um, yeah, we'll take, the, we'll take the L there. But, you know, we're playing, we're playing chess, not checkers here with the cold cheese boys. Okay, I get it. Yeah, they were they saw the writing on the wall.
Come on. Slowly but surely. Who would have thought these Anarte, the Anartes? Oh, damn it. This is what I did not want to have happen. Because Rhodes is right there. I'm going to enter on the side of the ally, but then I might try to peace out. I'm going to try to peace out with them. They're right there by Ephesus. Stop the adoption for sure. All right, let's peace out with Rhodes. A son came of age. Amazing. Wow, a lot of news to end that. A uh, lot of news to end that cycle. So Rhodes, let's peace out with these guys. And then maybe right into a trade agreement. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's good news. Okay, the Kush are losing some of their settlements now. Uh, let's get back here. Attack Trapesos. Destroy their fleet. Again, like I said, we're playing we're playing chess. We're playing chess. Goodbye, fleet. I'm doing the Queen's Wave to you. Just occupy it. It was our settlement. Hopefully they didn't raise it. Uh, they did fudge them. Okay, we got some good replenishment here, but not enough. Not enough replenishment in my eyes here. Uh, yeah, let's see. Can I actually... We'll probably need to... What do we got here? What's the... One general unit, couple units... 17 garrison units? Oh my loots. That's a lot. Oh my god, that is a lot of units. Okay, these guys looking good. Um, it's the fastest way to Gabala. What do we need here? We probably need a couple more chosen swords. What's this looking like here? Let's go to Rosa Merta. Let's get... Actually, hand. Okay, none of this does anything against agent actions. That's what I was trying to look at. Let's upgrade the bronze forge. What's the settlement look like here? Okay, so... We can get some decent mercenaries. Because I just want to I just want to start moving up the Gabala side. And to tell you the truth, I actually think this is a good enough core. Let's go high. Let's just move this way. Hire some mercenaries eventually and get to this settlement as fast as possible. I'm not going to hire the mercenaries this turn. I'll hire them next turn. And now let's get to the meat. Let's get to the meat of it. That That's kind of an interesting, I, I kind of a side quest, but also a little bit of a main quest. Time to march on Bactria. No idea where this army went. That is not good. There, we will take their capital. Uh, what do we got here? I'm actually only going to occupy Bactria. We are being kind here. Uh, holy snikes, this is big. Wealth from all sources or commerce? Let's do all sources. Um, okay, we don't have a lot of money just yet. We'll have to, we'll have to switch that up soon. Let's go ahead and get on. We need to. I'm trying to think. Let's go right here. And I'm going to strike an ambush stance. Okay, which means that this army probably moved. If I had to guess, this army moved to Merv. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. Oh, I got to try to peace out with the Galatians. I forgot that we're at war with them. Okay, Galatians. Yeah, thank you. Now get off my lands. Okay, that's Gabala. Can we reach these guys? This is such horse manure that we cannot reach these guys. They're gonna need to... Oh, I didn't realize I had this many mercenaries in this army. Oh, we need to disband this. Uh, we'll keep the... Yeah, no, no. We'll disband the elephants. And... 
I'll keep one. I'll keep two spears. Just because, again, I don't know. hiccup there another little audio hiccup sorry about that guys apologies for that hopefully you're still watching at this point in the video um we are super close to that final push and i was just maneuvering our homies around the around some of those middle east areas there I was i was contemplating man how do we want to deal with do we want to keep shadowing that army and to tell you the truth i think we can because atosa is as you saw we took merv and we didn't we didn't uh, raise it because we had already controlled it at one point, so we didn't need to do that. So we, we lost. Okay, so we just lost where this Bactrian army went. No idea where it went. Probably went through the province of the Galatians. Uh, for some reason, they must have military access. But we'll see how it goes. Another another long episode to kind of end this series. I I mean I think we are we are right there. We are really right there, and I do believe the epilogue will be us just steamrolling the Gal uh, the Colchis boys into submission. Maybe then taking those armies that we have used against the Bactrians against the Galatians for their for this little revolt they tried to pull. So, I mean, there's some good ideas for our little epilogue, and I'm going to try to keep that a, a, a wise staple. And then I'm also going to get a new chord. I believe that my audio issues are coming from uh, a chord that my mic has uh, that is just outdated needs to uh it's seen better days if you will character is wounded oh, no, okay no longer wounded good all righty cool don't care about any of that ah okay good to see that this army is is revealing themselves Let's go ahead and convert some stuff here. Let's go with the lore master and then... Oh, I have to tear that down anyways. Oh, that's really sad. Uh, let's convert this to a horn mate. Or no, that, that's going to be five turns. Never mind, never mind, never mind. We're leaving this as two, and when that gets done, we'll get... Uh, who is the bet? Who is the more capable army for this defense? To tell you the truth, it might. it actually might be... It actually might be Kanini. No, but I'm gonna. It's gonna be a toast, or not a toast. It's gonna be Pekia. Let's get her back into this down here for this stand. Actually, she hasn't. No, we can't ambush her that close to the city, which sucks. But one more turn on the elephants. But to tell you the truth, that's a decent amount of elephants. Let's move. Let's keep this. Let's keep this campaign moving. Yes, I know, Jay Dirty. We are auto resolving this. Yes. Uh, the thing about it is, there might be a. We might actually fight this battle if they decide to take this army and come back up this way. Uh, with that in mind, I want to. Can I recruit more elephants if I merge them? No, I can't. So we are going to take it easy with what I was planning there. And did I occupy another settlement that I just occupied that probably should have thought twice about? I should have raised this settlement, uh, got the extra shmula. 
but we are almost there guys we are almost i think honestly just this this settlement here is the big one that we need we're going to take we're going to take a mool this turn with uh we're going to take a mool where did this army okay this army moved back this way yeah we're just going to keep we're just going to keep shadowing that they might be able to march if they can march all the way to merv fine but we're going to take a mool and then bukhara is the last one we need and that will have completed our ancient British Empire, which is so crazy to think about. Let's raise this. Yeah. We'll go with the... Uh, yeah, we'll go with the temple and just some economic buildings. Let's see. Let's make sure that we're not going to have any political issues. We are actually close to having some political issues, so let's send this person on a... Mish, diplomatic mission. This is why can't ever rest on the laurels of that. We have it's because it, the reason we have that issue is there's a couple of uh, enemy armies in our in our territory in our midst. Let's get. Oh damn, we lost some good men for for no reason. Got to get those guys into Olbia. God dang, we lost some men for no reason. Pour one out for some real ones. I mean, I'm ready to march on Farsis now. This army is moving at a good pace too. Stance none. Let's get moving this way. Uh, do we need to grab some mercenaries? We can later. God, they're just terrible mercenaries. Let's uh, sabotage this army here, and I'm tempted to put them under siege just to just to do it. Have them have them sally out against us. I dare them. Yeah, I think that that is, that's the main, uh, that's the main situation that we got going on. The Nervi like us again. Love to see that. The Apuli are on our doorstep that don't like us. I could see that being an issue, but again, that's why we built the better barracks in Rome. Marseille boys like us. The main boys do not like us. I should send a diplomat to them next turn, next turn, next turn, next turn. All right, end this turn, and we're right there. We're right there. I don't know if you guys can hear the uh, excitement in my voice. We are so close to the... Fine, fine. We'll take Susia back. We will take it back eventually. Okay, let's get this going. This is just a, a minor little hiccup there. For when we attack them next turn. But good. Yeah, we got them trapped in Susia. Those dirty boys. I forgot I wanted to punish the Galatians. Or, I mean, I know I want to punish the Galatians. I forgot I wanted to do that before we got peace. Non-aggression pack with the Nervi. They're back on board, boys. Looks like meat's back on the menu for the Nervi. Man, it is crazy to see what a dignitary can do that has that plus 60% relation bonus. Uh, that is crazy. All right, they want to fight a battle in the field. The thing is, do I fight this battle? Do we have one more big battle against the Colchis? I mean, man, this is shit. This army is absolutely shit compared to what they usually send our way. Um, although they do have quite a bit of skirmishers. You know what? This isn't what this episode is for. That's what the epilogue is for. We're going to retreat with Atosa. That army can follow us if they want. But what this episode is for is for us to take that settlement, that last settlement next turn. Maybe one more big battle, but we are, I mean, 51 episodes some long ones, some shorter ones. The support from you guys has been absolutely tremendous. The most ambitious project we've done on the channel to date doesn't mean that we're going to, honestly, <sighs> I mean, can't they can't get any more mad at us. That just adds to more territory that we control. We probably could have had a victory in this in this campaign if I would have just recruited more Navy units. That's usually the, the biggest hindrance to us. Diplomat Golden Tongue, and we got a settlement. Oh my god, that is amazing. That is absolutely hilarious. Uh, I'm trying to think. We'll just go with the infantry. I'm always recruiting infantry. Another son has come of age. Thank you for giving us your shitty... Thank you for giving us this absolute mess of a settlement. But, you know, at the same time, I can't, uh, I can't complain. You know, they, they did us a, a service here. And let's just tear... No, no, no. 
Let's just tear these these two down. We'll build something new next turn. That took up most of our money, but that is crazy. Good for that diplomat giving us something positive. We are here, though, guys. The moment of truth. Traxonia, this uh, Buktar is next. Let's do it. Let's do it with Kanini, and I'm going to fight this one. It's going to be an easy victory, but we are going to fight it. We're going to bring it in. The last battle of the Iceni campaign, besides the epilogue, you know, in parentheses, besides the epilogue. Yeah, we... Um, we are, yeah, the, this is a culmination for sure. We have, we have units from all over represented here. Persian Cav from kind of the middle, yeah, kind of our Middle Eastern territories. We have the Companion Cav from when we took over Rome. And we have our Indian War Elephants for the, to represent the furthest extent of our army. All the while having Kanini, one of our goats, alongside Pekia, who is, I mean, I, we could fight a big battle with Pekia in the epilogue as well, which would be kind of fun. Uh, spearmen here. We're just gonna rain hell on it. I mean, look at this army. Let's just kind of even have... Let's just have our mobile forces just go chill over there. We're gonna have to get at least one charge in. Yeah, let's move up. Looks like the enemy is also moving up here. They probably are doing this because they know we have the, uh, skirmisher advantage. Yeah, here they come. What do we even have here? Eastern Spears. Cannot wait for this companion cav to, to rout this. Uh, the, the, our blue boys here to absolutely rout this mob unit. Honestly, let's, let's do it. We got to get these guys involved. Let's get them into the back of the slingers here. I hope, I hope actually, you know what, I, this, we got to get him into the mob because I think this battle is going to be over before it even begins. Like, oh, let's see these guys get absolutely tossed like butter, literally like butter. We killed 60 people on that charge. That is amazing. Yeah, let's keep it moving here. Let's honestly help. Let's get them supported with some cav. I want to be able to use Kanini's ability as well. What do we got here? Pikemen? Okay, yeah. We're not even going to get the elephant charge in. Another big... Let's see how many we get here. <laughs> Absolutely clobbered. Yeah, let's get... Let's get Kanini into place here so I could use her abilities. Just honestly, might as well pop them anyways. Unity. Forgot this whole army has Frenzy. Battle Rhythm, Inspire. And there it is. Gonna just absolutely destroy these guys. And th the last charge of the campaign, bang! Oh, sandwiching these guys. End in the battle, beautiful. We lost 10 men. Oh, my loots, that is amazing. 212 kills on the Companions. That's for you, Jay Dirty, watching this Let's Play all the way through. Thank you guys so much for all the support, too, guys. The comments, the suggestions, the likes, the subscribes. Always, always appreciated. So much has gone into this. Uh, thank you guys for being patient. And a couple, I, we took that little brief, brief reprieve. If you're watching this in the playlist and you've come all the way to the end, yeah, there was a slight reprieve in there. Let's raise this last settlement. We'll build it up to be our own. And that will be the end of the regular Iceni campaign. Oh my gosh. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, next turn. Next turn we'll get... Or not next turn. In the epilogue, we'll see if Pekia can crush this last little holdout of these Bactrians. We can continue our march on, and honestly, this would put us in a position, you know, we continue our march here, be put us in a good position to take over the Colchis there. We're going to be dining on some charcuterie next episode. But for the most part, guys, we are done. We have accomplished what we want to accomplish. Let's just bask in the glory of the Iceni empire that we've created. Absolutely massive. We started where we always do, 
popped into northern France, took over the Straits of Gibraltar like we knew he wanted to do, captured Sicily, you know, Malta area over there as well, snagging some big islands here, defeated Rome, all because the Arbutica, the person sent, uh, Boudicca's druid sent a vision back into the minds of her great, 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 great grandmas, and we delivered. Don't get this confused right here, this little Syracuse in blue, but we have plenty of territory in North Africa. Took over Egypt as well. Always something that was that we planned on doing, very reminiscent of the British Empire of the, you know, the 16th to 18th centuries. And honestly, even to the 20th century. But we moved over from there. We I was oscillating what we wanted to do with Turkey. We took it. We took Germania territory as well. Don't have anything in the Balkans, but honestly, we've had enough influence in there to make it matter. Danube could be another thing eventually. This could. This is a map that we absolutely could go for a total war con quest, but I don't think that these are the people I want to do it with. We'll save that one for a later date. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I know I've said that a million times, but I really mean it. Appreciate everything you've done. One actually little thing we have to do, I just noticed. Let's get Susie. Let's get this settlement back for us. And here we go. Easy clap victory there. Now it looks even a little bit more unified than it was before. Look at that beautiful continu continuity of our empire. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it again. Hey, hey we have a couple ideas for the next series that we're going to do. One, uh, I might try to do, I might try to run two Rome 2 campaigns at once. One with the Iberians and the Lusit we're leaning Lusitani. The other with the Egyptians. Kind of get a little barbarian and Hellenic flair, but in the comments below, if you have anything you want to see, please don't hesitate. Reach it out. Or if you just have any advice or anything that you thought what stood out to you during this leave your best memories in the comments below hopefully you're still watching at this point thank you guys so much but most importantly like subscribe and stay wise